This was the family home Dart Stovall worked to restore on his own since Hurricane Katrina damaged it back in 2005. By the stairway into the uh, first, first floor. Was is the key word. It's now a pile of rubble. Stovall rode out Ida in the house and it began to wane in the winds. This is how it looked in the immediate aftermath and this is how it looked days later. Due to the condition which creates an imminent danger of collapsing, this property will be demolished. Stovall says he knew he needed to do something with the house, which he grew up in and has been in his family for nearly 45 years. He didn't expect the city to swoop in so fast. Came back a few days later and it was pretty much what you see now. The house is now basically nothing more than a memory. What little was left to salvage, looters made off with. It's almost like being in a fight and this is another punch. Stovall, who works in the city's code enforcement department, worked for years to transform the home from this to this, clearing citations from the city. In an odd twist, it was his department that tore down his home with little warning. He chalks it up to confusion in the aftermath of Ida. Mind you, all of this happened in the midst of the storm, and it wasn't a normal day for anyone. Nonetheless, that reality stings. Stovall doesn't have insurance on the house, and he'll have to clear the lot at his expense while hoping to start anew, but it won't be easy. Sometimes you run off fumes and you you do what you must. And in this case, I it is here for me to deal with and I'll, I'll do what I must, I'll deal with it. That's, that's all that I can. And Stovall says he can certainly use some help along the way. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Now there is a GoFundMe set up to help Stovall, so you can find a link to that on this story on WWLTV.com.